very very special and close to my heart because it is for my father since father's day is around the corner it's next week 16th of june and i thought i'll do some very cute little things and gifts for him and while i was doing this i thought why not record it for you all as well because if you're somebody who does not have a lot of time and still want to do something very special for your fathers then this video can act as the starting point for you guys so this video will be all about last minute DIYs because we all love handmade things, who doesn't? So yes, without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So for my handmade hug card, all you need is an A3 size paper. I am using pink color here. You'll need a pair of scissors and a pencil. Now go about tracing your hands on this paper and cut it out. Trace both of your hands. This is how the cutouts look. Once that is done, take a printout of your own selfie in black and white on an A4 size sheet. I have taken two sizes because I was not really sure uh, which size would suit better to the card. So I have done it in one go and now I will start cutting out my picture. Now once that is done, take an A3 size sheet again, place your picture and accordingly cut a portion of that card which is a straight rectangle. So we are making this card to make sure that it looks like a hug. So you are sending a hug or giving a hug to your loved ones through this card. To make sure it looks like so, at your shoulder length of your selfie, just uh, go ahead and stick the hands proportionately. Uh, so that it looks as if it's your hands that are stretching out to give a hug. Now once that is done, use a black pen and uh, make the lines of your stretched hands just like so. Now I will write hugs and kisses at the bottom and a happy father's day on the top of the card. So that's it, my inside of the card is ready. Now on top of the card, on the outside, I'll just stick some nice quotes and nice messages that I want to give to my father. So the first one says I love you this much and the second one says my fingers may be small but I can still wrap you around them. And that's it in just no time my hug card for my father is all ready. So for my second gift item, I've taken this very beautiful cup, as you can see. It's very nice. It's from Primark. Uh, so I've taken this uh, and um, 
I'll prefer if you have a white mug like so and I've just written world's sweetest dad on top of it. Now I've written this with the help of permanent markers. If you want to make it like a uh, permanent permanent then you'll have to keep it in the oven and bake it for uh, like 15 minutes and it will be all permanent but if you want to like uh, not make it permanent just like me I don't prefer it so you can easily remove it later with the help of nail paint remover and um, you can keep changing whatever you want to write on the mugs so next what I plan to do is make a two minute mug cake for my father it is a chocolate mug cake and uh, I have made a lot of mug cakes in the past like I typed uh, tried two or three recipes but this one is just perfect and has worked for me very well it's an eggless mug cake and gives for a soft textured and a uh, rich chocolate cake so yes uh, I decided to do that and I will uh, recommend you guys to try it as well it is amazing and takes just two minutes and uh, it's much preferred that you eat it hot and warm so make it fresh and eat it it's not a lot of cake you guys it's just a muck cake so yes that and if you your fathers don't like cakes at all then that is no problem do whatever they like for example take a mug and fill it with chocolates if they like a lot of chocolates or uh, you can fill it with goodies whatever they like and if you want to keep it very simple because they are fathers you can just make a nice cup of tea for them as well in the morning I'm sure they will love whatever you guys do so yes let's just begin the muck cake recipe now in the mug take four tablespoons of flour I am using the measuring spoon here To this I will add 2.5 tablespoons of powdered sugar and 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. Now we will add 2 pinches of baking powder and half a pinch of baking soda. Now mix the dry ingredients thoroughly with the help of a fork and once that's done we will add the wet ingredients. I will start by adding 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. You can also use melted butter if you'd like. Now to this mixture I will add some milk. I have used 3.5 tablespoons milk in total but make sure you don't add all of it at once. Try doing it uh, in intervals so that you get a fine paste by the end of it and there are no lumps formed. Give it a good whisk with the help of a fork and you will be left with a smooth paste. Now I am adding some chopped walnuts here. You can use any dry fruits that you would like. It will give it a good nutty flavor. Now once that is done, just put your mug in the microwave for 1 minute. My microwave is 800 watts so it takes about 1 minute to get a perfect well risen chocolatey flavored cake. Now sprinkle some powdered sugar on top of it and I've placed some cut strawberries and yay my cake is all ready to eat and rejoice. Just make it the way I have made it and I'm sure you'll definitely love it. guys for today's video it will not take you more than two hours to do this two hours is also a lot that I'm saying because you'll need some time to gather all the necessary items so yes make sure you wish your fathers a very very happy Father's Day and make this a special one for them as for me uh, pa, if you're watching this I love you so much Mwah. a very 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 happy Father's Day to you you mean the world to me and I'm sure you know that I miss you and we We'll meet very very soon I'm sure so yes uh, thank you for watching this video guys I hope you like it don't forget to comment below if you happen to try this out and how it worked out for you and yes I will see you soon in my next video till then stay happy bye bye